healthy waters. They're vitally important to Alabama's identity and economy. High quality streams and wetlands protected by well-managed forests provide clean water, recreational opportunities, and habitats for fish and wildlife. Protecting high quality waters now can reduce future needs for costly habitat restoration. Over the past few decades, millions of dollars have been spent improving ecological conditions in the impaired streams and rivers of Alabama. While we have achieved some success, miles of stream remain degraded and new impairments continue to be identified. The Alabama Forest Resources Center, a statewide working forest land trust, was created in 1986 by concerned landowners, foresters, and conservationists to enhance, promote, and preserve Alabama's forests for future generations. In 2018, the center joined forces with the Mobile Bay National Estuary Program and the Healthy Watersheds Consortium to strategically protect headwater habitat parcels in the Mobile Tom Bigby and Alabama River basins. Headwaters are the places where streams begin. They are vitally important for providing clean water, fish and wildlife habitat, and flood control downstream, where they're critical to the health of estuarine resources. By strategically identifying and recruiting landowners to conserve their habitat-rich headwater properties, we hope to sustain the rich species diversity and hydrologic and biological processes underlying our economy, culture, and quality of life. The hope is to increase the pace of conservation of the state's remaining healthy headwater habitat parcels. One way of accomplishing this, which has proven highly successful across the country, is through the use of conservation easements. Landowners appreciate the scenic beauty of their properties, the fish and wildlife, and even the heritage passed down by previous generations. Donating or placing these lands into conservation easements ensures the land is protected in perpetuity from development pressures. Executing a conservation easement allows the owner to gain significant tax benefits tied to the property's fair market value based upon its most profitable use. With a conservation easement in place, owners can maintain long-term sustainable productivity and traditional land uses while preserving the legacy of private ownership of Alabama's farms and forests. A landowner can maintain private ownership of a parcel and may continue to live on it, farm it, timber it, sell it, or pass it on to heirs, subject to the terms of the easement. More than 1.3 million acres, or almost 5% of the Mobile Bay drainage basin in Alabama, has been secured for protection, mainly through acquisitions by a range of state, federal, and nonprofit organizations. Through the Healthy Watersheds Consortium Initiative, a Mobile Basin Habitat Atlas has been developed to identify healthy headwater parcels across Alabama's 21 million acre Mobile Bay Basin. During the two-year grant period, the Alabama Forest Resources Center sought to protect more than 10,000 acres of healthy habitat through the use of conservation easements. The project's long-term goal is to protect at least 100,000 acres of priority headwater habitats by identifying landowners amenable to selling or conserving their property over the next 10 years. Development of the atlas involved assessing catchments, the smallest geographically defined portions of a watershed with their entire land surface areas draining directly into a single water body. The entire Mobile Bay Basin contains nearly 50,000 such catchments within the state. To determine which 100,000 acres should be considered for protection, the project team compiled pertinent data secured from a range of sources into a GIS database. The game plan involved first identifying the headwater habitat parcels most hydrologically connected to Mobile Bay. 
an index which assesses average wetness, travel time to the bay, and downstream dam storage provided this measure. The top quarter of the total basin area's catchments was selected based on their high connectivity scores. Next, the health of those hydrologically connected catchments was analyzed. Over half were selected based upon high watershed health scores, resulting in over 3 million healthy hydrologically connected acres. From this area, parcels greater than 500 acres were selected because, due to economies of scale, properties that large provide landowners conservation easement related tax benefits in the most cost effective manner. By the end of 2018, the Alabama Forest Resources Center had already placed more than 10,000 acres under conservation easement and is well on the way to meeting the long-term goal on an accelerated timeline. One such parcel is the Ghost Fleet West Track in Baldwin County. Owners of this extremely connected and healthy 900-acre parcel adjacent to previously conserved lands were willing to place it under a conservation easement through the Alabama Forest Resources Center in 2018. As partners wrap up the second year of the grant, and armed with this atlas and its inventory of priority parcel candidates for conservation, the Alabama Forest Resources Center will continue to reach out and engage landowners to inform them about the benefits and tax advantages of conservation easements and to serve as a liaison between them and conservation partners like Forever Wild, the Conservation Fund, the Nature Conservancy, and others. Permanent conservation and application of appropriate best management practices of these healthy headwater habitats offers the greatest benefits to Alabama's fish and wildlife and the health of its downstream estuarine waters. At the same time, it provides landowners opportunities for tax advantages while maintaining full ownership and use of their land. The Alabama Forest Resources Center is seeking key landowner partners willing to protect these parcels to ensure the productivity and sustainability of Alabama's forest and estuarine resources along with their economic and environmental benefits for future generations. Become a partner in conservation with us. Contact the Alabama Forest Resources Center today.